I slipped away from the birthday party a little early on a warm Tuesday evening just before dusk, planning to head home and prepare a few things for work the next day. Until I noticed my brothers in the distance working with the boat trailer near the pond. Oh, maybe I'll stay just a little longer. My prior resolve quickly disappeared like miniature apple pies at the pioneer-themed party, and curiosity compelled me in the opposite direction of my car. At first, I simply watched, savoring the open space and even the humid outdoor air. My nephews played along the shore, waiting for the slow, quiet launch of Misty Harbor, ready to take their places at the helm as soon as the engine roared. Before long, she and her passengers stirred the still waters with a splash of laughter and excitement, leaving a distinct pattern of waves to wash the shore. And after a couple of rounds, my brother called out to me. You want a ride? Why not? My plans for leaving early had already been abandoned, and the thrill of summer fun beckoned me toward the boat. Together, we raced against the sunset, the wind above us, and the wake beneath us as we allowed each unexpected moment to be our guide. I later thought of a phrase I once heard from author and speaker Annie F. Downs after she experienced an unexpected change of plans. In the middle of her disappointment, someone close to her asked, what does this make possible? When one plan shifts, it makes room for another, but it's not always easy to see at first. Whether the pivot comes from a simple decision to linger just a little longer with your people instead of rushing home, or it happens because of a sudden interruption outside of your control. And I guess life is filled with a lot of both, isn't it? We don't always have a choice about the shift, but we do have a choice in where we place our focus along the way. This summer holds a lot of change for our family now that my sister and brother-in-law have closed on their house in Virginia and are preparing to spend more time on the mission field. There are also several construction projects in progress and even a couple of unrelated hospital visits that have taken a toll as well. In many ways, we are waiting, but we are also living, trying to embrace the moments as they are and not as we might wish them to be. It's an ellipsis of sorts, which Grammarly.com describes as the punctuation known casually as dot 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 that represents a pause, shows an omission of words, or suggests there's something left unsaid. It can also be used for dramatic effect to indicate there's more to come. And that's the beauty, isn't it? While navigating the uncharted course, we can live with hope and still ask an important question when plans change, routines are upended, and the schedule slips outside of our control. What does this make possible? For us, some of the recent highlights have included rainy day luncheons, a visit to the Riverside Arts Market, evening skate dates, and an overall sense of camaraderie, knowing we are on this journey together. In closing, I'd like to pass the question on to you. 
If today looks different than you thought it would, what does the shift make possible? Maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised by the outcome.